Hello and welcome to my channel. Today it's minus one degree in London and we are going to talk about how to drive a Tesla Model 3 in the winter and what the thing to avoid or the things to prepare to have a great experience. We're in front of Arrods in central London. Uh, so this is going to be a video about the battery range and about tips and tricks uh, to uh, drive in the winter. So enjoy the video. Okay, as you can see, it's minus one degree. Our battery is at 41% and there is an ice next to the battery to say that the battery is still a bit cold and that's one of the main reasons that you will see in the winter you will lose battery range did quite a lot of research and you can lose between 20 to 50 percent of the battery in the winter and that's probably one of the main reasons you could uh, choose to get a long range Tesla Model 3 instead of the standard range. Because if you lose 50% and you have to have a long trip to do, that may be a problem for you. So how to avoid to lose too much battery? So a few tips. First, uh, you Tesla doesn't like when the battery is cold. So you have to preheat your battery before you take your trip. And one way to preheat the battery is to warm up uh, the car uh, like 10, 15 to 20 minutes before you start uh, your journey. Uh, so we do that now and it will help to increase the range. The second thing you can do as well to keep more battery range is not to heat your car too much when you are driving and use more the car seat heating that blowing up uh, hot air through uh, all the car. Uh, car seats use less electricity than the ventilation system. So that's another one. The other thing you will notice as well is when you go charging the car in a supercharger, the speed to recharge a car will be lower. Um, and this is due uh, partly because your battery is cold as well and will take more time uh, to warm up. So for this, same tips if uh, you want to have a higher speed to recharge your battery at a supercharger. First, go to the supercharger when the battery is lower, probably below 20% to be able to get maximum speed. And then make sure that you have enough time to preheat your battery before you go to the supercharger. Uh, we have a video on this channel where we explain the speed we got uh, when we want to supercharger and our battery were not warm enough. Something else you will notice during the winter is that your camera, uh, your side camera, your back camera will not be as good quality as uh, during the summer. So a few things to uh, clean the camera of the car, the left, right and the back camera we can't get dirty during the winter um, or foggy because of the humidity and the rain. Uh, make sure that are well cleaned and then it should avoid uh, to have too much trouble with those cameras. The other thing you will notice in winter is you will have more phantom drain. So phantom drain is where your battery is going to uh, drop some range during the night or when you are parked. Uh, two reasons for that is because it's very cold. The battery will still need to keep a certain minimum temperature. Uh, and uh, advice for that is um, try to park in a warmer place or in a protected area if you have a garage or a place which is in the sun during the day it will limit uh, phantom drain or if you can turn off the sentinel if you can and two other things you will notice when your car is cold first you will see that the regeneration brake is not working because uh, it's 
too cold uh, so so it, it, it will need the battery to be warmer to be able to work and your maximum power also it will be restricted when starting the car from cold so as before two way to avoid that and to be able to get your regeneration working and max power will be as i said before please preheat your car making sure you have a warm battery when you are driving during the winter of course one thing who can happen in the winter if it's snowing a lot not today obviously uh, is your wiper can get frozen um, and you will not be able to remove the ice and the snow so an easy trick to do uh, to avoid uh, frozen wiper is to go when you park at night you go to the car and to the service function and you will see the wiper service mode there you put wiper service mode and now as you can see the wiper came out and they can stay overnight like this so easier to remove the snow on them in the morning that's it another part who can get frozen is the door so if you cannot get into your car in the morning because it's frozen tesla recommend to tap around the door handle as you see on the screen and you feel a few taps on the left on the right above and below just to de-ice the door and then you should be able to open the door a second option to maintain your door in the winter is to apply some wb40 the way they show it on the screen this is another recommendation from tesla in the winter as well your mirror can freeze so if you auto fold them at night then and it's freezing cold and snowing in the night it can be damaged in the morning so to avoid that what you can do is you go to your car setting and then quick control this one mirror oh no, not this one mirror here and then you have mirror auto fold and you're just going to remove this one for the night so they don't auto fold and freeze during the night one more thing to check in the winter will be your tire pressure um, because it's cold the tire pressure will be lower so you can go and check and you see for us it's now 37 psi and normally it's uh, up to 42 psi uh, but I think it's still okay for the moment. And probably the last two things you can do to prepare your car for the winter will be also to make sure the snow uh, didn't cover the autopilot sensors. So make sure that the autopilot sensors are clean when you move around. And also probably uh, for some of you who uh, drive in the snow, please make sure you put some winter tires in your car and you will change uh, between the winter and the summer tire. So to recap, quite a lot of things to do in the winter to prepare your car for driving. But one thing to repeat again and again is making sure that you don't lose too much battery range by pre-eating your car and making sure when you drive that your battery is warm enough this is probably the business lesson i learned while preparing this video so i hope you enjoy it uh, please if you have other comments uh, please make them in the comment section below we are now ready to uh, go around if you like the video click the like button as well and don't forget to subscribe we are arriving now in primrose hills some of the most expensive area of london and i just check the house around us where we are going to park costs 28 million pounds 28 million pounds so quite a lot of money to be honest i will leave you with some nice view about this area in primrose hill thank you for watching the video hope to see you soon and don't forget if you want to buy a tesla model 3 you can use also my referral link to be able to get a thousand miles 
of supercharging at the Tesla supercharger. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.